Well, hey there, it's Catherine from CatherineBuller.com. We are celebrating our home for the holidays stamp of approval collection release with a video hop. <laughs> so thanks for being here and welcome. So I do have a quick project for you today before you hop off to the other video friends. But if you're new to the stamp of approval collection concept, we put a quarterly collection together of products that go together. So we work really hard to make sure you need all of the elements that you need to make cards and projects for your friends and family. So you have made images, background stamps, sentiments, dies, and everything works together. You also get a project guide download with the creative team's favorite projects, all compiled into one easy document for inspiration for you. We take our favorite projects, we write up the instructions, and we put them together in this download for you. It gets emailed to you after you purchase and you're gonna be busting at the seams with inspiration. So if you've missed my videos this week, you can check out our playlist. I've revealed all of the products and I'm gonna be using some of them today. So we have the Cozy Border Stamp Set, we have the Holiday Mix Sentiment Set, and we have the Christmas Cookies. <laughs> we also have an add-on product. These are our uh, sugar cookie dies. They cut these guys out. And I did a whole video showing all the different ways to use these guys. So versatile, so fun to play with. These circle dies were sized to coordinate with our circle die product, our regular circle dies. So you're gonna have stacking dies. You see this one fits inside, this one fits outside. And then for this small one, it's smaller than our smallest circle. So you have a lot of layering possibilities with that. So to start out, I'm going to use Lime Ricky Embossing Glitter, which is brand new and exclusive to this box. I'm gonna get it all ready to go. Our inks are made on a foam pad and they're a little juicy. So when you stamp with them, if you're quick, well, first of all, it's really easy to ink up your stamps. And if you're quick, you can throw embossing glitter or embossing powder and it will stick to your image. So now I'm gonna have Lime Ricky embossing glitter on top of Lime Ricky ink, and I'm gonna get a gorgeous, sparkly Lime Ricky line of trees. I have a little strip of cardstock here and I wanna make an accent piece. So I have rock and red ink and rock and red embossing glitter. I'm just gonna add that on there like that and it will stick. And then this will end up being a red strip of glitter paper. I also love doing this with sentiment side cuts as well. That side is ready to go. Let's do the second side and then it will be ready to add on to my project. Now I'm not going to use this piece on my project, but I just had to show you. So something borrowed with this fun snowflake and something borrowed embossing glitter. Oh my gosh, I could stare at this all day. Look at how gorgeous that is. And now I'm going to have this amazing blue snowflake. Look at that sparkle and shine. And this now will not rub off. So you have gorgeous glitter without the mess. Well, the mess for your recipient, because I mean, look, we got this going on. <laughs> the circle cookie cutter was made for this little holly swag to be stamped in a circle around for a really cute little Christmas cookie. You could also emboss this. If you did it in gold, that would be absolutely gorgeous. There, and this is on our sand dunes cardstock perfect fit. So now it's time to assemble these pieces. Assembly will be really easy, just a little liquid glue on the back. We'll just add this right to the card front. Liquid glue on the glitter strip. Okay, so I also stamped one in white so you can see the difference. Both of them look awesome. Glad dimensional adhesive to the back. So I had this Mary laying on my desk. I had already die cut it and colored it with Lime Ricky ink and it was begging to be attached to this project. <laughs> so this is from our Merry Christmas layered sentiments, which also comes in the collection. 
So Mary, and then I thought the B from this right here would be really, really cute. So B Mary. So we also have holiday cheer Nouveau drops in the shop. So if we wanted to add a few of these, just a few little dots. And that's it. So if you're not on the wait list yet, head over to katherinepooler.com slash stamp of approval. Get your name on the wait list. The collection goes for sale on Wednesday morning, but our Stamp Nation members get first crack at it on Tuesday night during our pre-release party. Have fun hopping. Be sure to comment because we will be giving away some goodies. Thanks for being here, you guys. I will see you soon.